Assalamu alaikum dear friends, I am engineer Saipullah and you are watching 7 engineered site youtube channel. So dear friends, today we will discuss different types of drawings in the construction project. What are different types of drawings which we are using in the construction project. So before starting the video, please subscribe to our youtube channel, like the video and share it with your friends. And if you have any question or suggestion, comment in the comment section and if you want to contact me my, through my social network like instagram facebook linkedin so the links are available in the about section of the channel and also in the video description so let's start the video guys wherever you are talking about the construction construction projects let's come to your mind the drawings in the construction projects you are using different type of drawing like tender drawing design drawing ifc drawing shop drawing z line drawings and sb drawings so we will start in a sequence like whenever the client need uh, something or a building or a project so they have some ideas in their mind so the designer are there to keep that to give a shape to that ideas to design the idea which they have in their mind and after that when they make a design drawing and the client accept their designs so they need someone to construct that designs and give a practical shape to that ideas so they prepare tender drawing and they announce tender from the project and the different contracting companies receive that uh, that notification of the tender they receive the tender drawings they study the tender drawings and on the basis of their tender drawings they submit their biddings so after that one of the contractor wins the bidding wins the tender and they want to start work on that project so after the tender drawing the client issue ifc drawings to the contractors ifc drawing mean issue for construction ifc drawings has many more detail about the project about a specification and detail about the projects its design and dimension and all the detail which we need for the project so they put in the ifc drawing issue ifc mean issue for construction but when the contractor want to start the work the site engineer core man supervisor surveyor need more and more detail to execute the work properly so when they need more detail from where they will get that more detail so there we have another team technical team in our project the technical team consists on draftsmen and technical engineers so then the draftsmen get the design drawing or tender drawing or ifc drawings and they start starting to make sharp drawings for the execution Shop drawing, what is sharp drawing Shop drawing are the detailed drawings about a specific activity like steel structure work or steel reinforcement so there will be full detail about the F activity there will be coordinates in that drawing so the surveyor will use the coordinates to put and check the location at site and put that coordinate at site to make the structure or it's on its original location and there are many more details like about the concrete cover spacing of steel bar which type of die will be used what will be the spacing between two bars how many bar will be used there so whatever you need the detail it will be present in the shop drawing after the shop drawings when you execute the activity properly and successfully so you have to make the as build drawing of that work like if you complete your project and you complete the building after that you have to make the as build drawing what is as build drawing as build drawing are the drawings which reflect whatever you constructed actually at site whatever you done at site you have to make as built of that as built is unchangeable you cannot change as bed drawing because as built you take the coordinates from the site which you built it which you done which you executed at site so from that executed work you have to make your as built drawing and you have to give it to in the final stage to the your client that what you did at site and sometimes the as built is different from design drawing so when 
the project is going on and sometimes the client needs some changes in the design drawing uh, in the project so for that we use red line drawings when they make any changes to the design drawing or to the project so they make a red line drawings so they mark the, the changes on a red line drawings what is red line drawings red line drawings when you make changes to your design drawings or the projects so you have to mark with the red lines and that's called red line drawings and then you have to replace that red line drawings in the SB drawing why because in the start you receive drawings tender or design drawing and you IFC drawings and you make sure drawings and you started work on that but in the middle they need some changes on the design drawing so they make they made red line drawings for that changes and in the end when you are going to is built to make as built up your executed work so that red line drawings should be same with the as built because they need some changes at that time and you have to follow the changes at that time so i will summarize when someone want to construct a project there is an idea in their mind they give a shape to their idea through design drawing the designer are sit there and they make design up their idea after that when they want to give a practical shape to their idea so there will be someone to make that construct the project and make and give a practical shape to that idea so they announce tenders for their projects and they send their tender drawings to all the contractors the contractor review the tender drawings and they submit their bidding and one of the contractor win the bids after that the client issue IFC drawings for the construction IFC mean issue for construction from the IFC drawing the contractor technical department or technical team make shop drawings to execute the work at site after completing the project the contractor make as bid drawing what they executed what they did at site so they give a shape to their work in the form of as bid drawing if there are any there are any changes in the middle of the project so the client make that changes through red line drawing and in the end the contractor should follow the red line drawings and they should follow and the uh, changes and the uh, project at the end of the project and they have to show their changes and their SB drawing so tender drawing IFC drawing sharp drawing SB drawing if there are any changes so they will use red line drawing so guys if you find the video informative and so like the video, share it with your friend and subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you need videos on some specific topics, so please comment your question and topics in the video uh, comment section. I will try to make a video on that topics. Thank you so much for watching.